Andrew Bynum's career felt like it was over before it started. The Lakers took him in the 05 draft right out of high school. Although a dislocated kneecap would force Bynum to miss the Lakers' run to the 2008 NBA Finals, he would return the next two seasons as a force in their back-to-back -back championships, but even with that success, Bynum tore his MCL in the 09 season. He also played through another knee injury in the 2010 Finals versus Boston. In 2012, Bynum became an all-star. He was widely considered the second-best center in the league, only behind Dwight Howard. And ironically enough, the Lakers made a move that offseason to flip him for who else? Dwight Howard. In a trade that landed the young all-star in Philly. Bynum came into camp hurt and while rehabbing his knee, injured himself again while bowling. Bynum didn't log a single minute for Philly and then signed with Cleveland. And where he put up career low numbers, he then signed with the Pacers and played two games off the bench before retiring at just the age of 26. And still, in such a short time, he was able to become a two-time champion, an all-star, and one of the most talented players at his position. And that is why...